video, I'm going to show you how to install Snort on a uh, PFSense. So first you need to get to your uh, PFSense. You need to log in here. To install Snort, we're going to go into the Package Manager. Go to Available Packages. We're going to search for Snort. And then we're going to install Snort. Hit Confirm. This usually doesn't take a especially long amount of time. That's very nice. Once the green goes, it's usually there, but I always double check. Success is success, and we're very excited for doing some logging in. All right, now that it's installed, we find our Snort configuration under Services Snort. The first thing I want to do is go into the global settings. In global settings, the, um, a lot of this is about the rule sets. So notice here I have Snort subscriber rules, enable Snort VRT. This is a set of registered user rules. And since I'm not going to want to register right now, I'm going to click this one. The GPL v2 community rules is a rule set that's distributed free or charge. There's no subscriber license or anything. It is a subset of the subscriber rule set, so you don't get everything. If you pick the free rules account, you need a certain set of rules. I believe that one's not updated as quickly. If you do the paid subscriber set, that one's actually updated like pretty quickly. But we just want this one because we're just going to get the rules going. Once I've enabled my rules, I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to hit save. Now I need to go into the, uh, let's see, where are we going into? I believe we're going into updates. Wait, where, oh, I forgot one thing. While I'm doing here, rules update settings, I do need to set that. I like these. At least you want to go at least or less than one day. So make sure you go um, one day. And the other thing I want you to set, or what I want to set under here, is my remove block host interval. And I want that to at least be a day. So, you know, I might wait a day to remove block host. I might wait longer. And we're going to click Save. And that's ready to go. What I need to do now is update my rule set. That's under Updates here. Notice here, last update just didn't happen. So I'm going to hit my Update Rules. And then what we're going to do here now is wait just a second um, to get the update going. All right, so that was super exciting. The rule set was updated successfully. There have been situations I've seen where I've had to hit this force update my first time, but update is okay. So we've updated the rule set. And now we're almost ready to go. What I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to actually just try it under pass lists. There is a way to do it under aliases here that I have been doing. I'm going to try it here though. I'm going to create a pass list and I'm going to call this, well, we'll just call it PF sense interfaces. It loves that because I've already called it this like 20 different times. What I do here is uncheck this box and I'm going to leave the rest going. So this firewall locally attached networks, this is the, this would add everyone that is inside my network to this uh, pass list, meaning it won't check them at all. And I actually want to check people behind my firewall. So that needs to be unchecked for your pass list, but we're okay with PFSense interfaces there. Now I'm going to um, add my interfaces. So under Snort interfaces, notice here it doesn't have any. It's kind of fun. Well, I guess they have their reasons. The first interface we'll, that we'll add is this WAN one. So I've got WAN. Notice here it's WAN WAN. I'm very excited here. I like to have packet captures. This will put a log file that's in PCAP format for me. On the WAN interface, I typically go with blocking offenders. This means if someone tries to attack you or do something nasty from the outside, it will block them. So we want to do that there. 
Then I'm going to scroll down here and just hit save. Next up for WAN, and this is just kind of the minimum to get it working. You need to go into WAN categories and I need to check my box here. Checking the box enables, I have to hit save. Checking the box enables the rules to even exist over here. In order to get the rules to work, I find what I just checked right here. It's going to load down here. Give it a second. So there's all the rules and notice none of the rules are enabled. I have to enable all these rules. Not only do I have to hit enable, I'm going to have to click apply when I'm finished. This just enables the rules to happen at all on my WAN interface. Okay, we're still not done. But this is enough uh, configuration uh, for the WAN. We're gonna go back to interfaces. Notice there's no LAN interface yet, so I need to add my LAN interface. So here's LAN. I'm also going to enable packet captures. I'm not gonna block offenders. This means that people on my LAN side, if they do something wrong, they won't immediately be blocked. Okay, so I don't necessarily want that. But in here, for my home net, this is where I'm going to set this to that pa uh, pass list I just created. That's my PFSS interfaces. If you'd like to view the list, you'll notice here, it's not gonna scan 10.0.1, that's my upstream gateway. It's not gonna scan the local network. And oddly enough, where is my 192.168? Let me double back, let me save that actually. I'm going to double back to my pass list because somehow that didn't add it. And I need to, I wonder what's going on here. I need my 192.168.1.1. And actually, I'm just going to put in my 10.0.1.3 just to have them both on there. It's actually going to, or it should have been on there because of this WAN gateways. Or, oh. So there we already saved it. I think I already saved it. And then we're going back to the Snort interfaces. We're going back to LAN. We're going to double check the, um, where are we at here? The interfaces list here. And I want it to show 192.168.1.1 and my external interface. Okay. So that should be somewhat ready to go. So we're not quite done. I'm just gonna hit save though. Um, from here, I also need to check the box of land categories. Notice here it's not checked. If I look here right now and go to the drop down list, you'll notice the GPL is not there. So I go back here, I check the box to enable it, I hit save. Now, when I go to rules, I will have it on there. So there it is. I'm going to click. Um, all right. <laughs> Come on, where are you? There they are. Again, the rules come up. I click enable all to turn them all on. Notice they all go to a nice enabled by users. And then we hit apply. And now this is, this is basically ready to go. And the funny thing about this is we're still not ready to go because we have to start snort on each interface. So we start it here and we start it here and now we're ready uh, that we can actually use our snort. So interestingly, you should actually start getting some alerts. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move this so I can see this, like that, okay. And now I'm gonna go into my um, terminal. Since I'm on a Mac, you may not know that. You can't see it here. Let me move my terminal up here. Here's a nice empty terminal, move that over here in the corner. I'm gonna use Nikto, and it's going to do a port scan, basically, or not a port scan, a vulnerability scan of my web server on this computer. This is 192.168.1.100. Fire up the port scan. <laughs> this, it may have already blocked me. Notice here, Server web, blah, 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 access. And notice if we go back to alerts, this has done something it doesn't like, and now it's going to uh, block it. 